Dwayne Douglas Johnson, also known as The Rock, was born on May 2nd, 1972 in Haywood, California. Mostly known for his roles in massive blockbuster movies, such as The Fast and Furious, Jumanji, Rampage, Get Smart, along with the hugely popular TV show, Ballers. Although he is now considered one of the biggest movie stars in the entire world, most of us know The Rock from his previous life in the fitness and entertainment industry of professional wrestling. Although The Rock has lived many different lives and played many different roles in his explosive career, there is one thing that has stayed consistent throughout, and that is his love and dedication of fitness. It's about Ever since he was young, he's been a big guy with huge muscles and a fairly lean appearance. And now that he's almost 50 years old, he could be in the best shape of his life. So how has The Rock managed to stay in such phenomenal shape for such a long time? Why hasn't he lost motivation? And what can we learn from his mindset which will help us with our own training? Well, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has mastered the ass, ass. <laughs> he's mastered the ass. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has mastered the art of fitness and it all starts with his relationship with his father. Dwayne's father was a famous wrestler in the 70s. He was a big man with a big personality and a tough exterior. I had a very complicated relationship with my dad. There was a foundation of tough love. Wasn't a big I love you guy. From the age of five, his father would bring him to weightlifting sessions in the gym. Not to work out, but to be part of the action in the gym environment. He would get up at usually 5, 5.30 in the morning, and he would say, if I get up, you're going to get up too. And it wasn't until the age of 12 that he started lifting weights. And soon enough, the gym became a place for him to escape the problems that were happening at home. His parents were constantly fighting, and he felt like he had his back up against the wall. And this is where we discover the first strategy that The Rock uses to stay motivated to work out. He uses the pain of his past to motivate motivate him in the present and for the future. The thing that has worked for me is to remember the hard times. Anything big that would happen, I would always take a moment and I'd just remind myself. I was evicted when I was 14. We were kicked off the island. We couldn't live in Hawaii. We had no place to live. His parents had a toxic relationship. His mother attempted to take her own life. My mom gets out of the car and when she got out of the car, I'll never forget it, she had a glazed look over her eyes that I had never seen before. And she walks right into the middle of I-65 and continues to walk down into oncoming traffic. Many people would use all of this negativity as an excuse to just give up. However, Dwayne saw it as an opportunity to discipline himself, to work hard and make sure that he never falls victim to it again. What can I do? So at 14 years old, I thought, well, the heroes in my life, Muhammad Ali, for example, professional wrestlers, um, they're all men who have worked hard with their hands and they built their body. Ah, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what my dad taught me and these other heroes, I'm gonna go build my body so we're never evicted again. He wanted a better life so badly and it wasn't because of the money and the fame, it's because the alternate life that he already knew was absolutely terrifying. It wasn't long before he found new motivation. His drive and competitiveness was directed into something bigger than the weights gym, as he found himself invited along to play football. By the age of 16, Dwayne was six foot four and 200 pounds. And football was the first chance for him to apply these years of weightlifting to a more practical sense. Unfortunately, Dwayne's football career did not turn out to be the life that he had imagined because after numerous injuries and being cut from the football team, Dwayne recalls the exact moment that he decided to switch lanes and follow in his father's footsteps. I got a phone call from the head coach. He said, hey, I know we cut you, but I'd like you to come back. I said, no, I think I'm done with that. I said, I'd like to get into the wrestling business. He said, it is the worst mistake you will ever make. And this is where Dwayne Johnson became The Rock that we all know and love today. It's also where he truly unlocked the power within himself. His motivation for success was at an all-time high. He was putting his body on the line every single week and being rewarded for it. Not only that, his mother and father were being rewarded too. This is something that Dwayne had dreamed of providing for his family ever since they were evicted from his home as a young boy. Along with the 
He was now no longer just working out to stay in shape for wrestling, he was working out to leave a positive influence on all his fans and show them what is possible when you really set yourself a goal and work hard towards it. And this is something that we can all do. Now we might not inspire millions of people, however if we do take care of our body first, we will motivate and inspire the people around us such as our friends and family. And you never know, it might just start a ripple effect which will affect hundreds if not thousands of other people. Eight years later, after cementing his name in wrestling history and feeling like he had accomplished all that he wanted within the sport, The Rock set his sights on something bigger. I wanted to achieve more and I wanted to grow as a person. I wanted to grow as an entertainer. If I made the transition into acting, I wanted to be great. The Rock's acting career did not explode straight away. However, after a couple of years, he got his big break where he was cast as the main role in The Scorpion King. Over the next few years, he would maintain his large, ripped physique and branding as the big strong guy in movies. But it wasn't until 2013, where he was cast in Pain and Gain as an ex-con, that Dwayne's physique really turned it up a notch. Now, was this transformation just purely done off hard work and dedication? Well, before we get to a few other people's opinions on whether or not he may or may not have used super supplements, I think we really need to dive into what kind of foods and how much food The Rock was eating to put on that amount of size. I do eat five to six, sometimes seven meals a day. Usually a rice, usually chicken, with some greens. Again, just throughout the day, I'll have some fish. And then usually before bed, I will have a balance of protein and a carbohydrate and some greens before bed. Now, it's pretty clear that The Rock is dedicated to staying in the best shape of his life. And his diet speaks volumes about the lengths that he will go to to make sure that he continues being cast in movies. However, what about the other people that are suggesting that it's not all just diet and exercise? I don't understand The Rock. I mean, he's, you know, he's obviously fucking juicing and, and like- He's like 270 shredded year round, essentially. Yeah. At like almost 50, the stuff they'll say in interviews is baffling about, I just yeah. train like twice a day, I hired a celebrity trainer, this and that. It's like, no, bro. I don't think people have any idea how many people are juicing. Like, it's oh. crazy. Like, everybody's on steroids. Like, I hate to break yeah. it you. Everybody's on steroids. <laughs> the only response we get from The Rock on this topic is a few lines in an interview in 2009 with MTV, where he stated, me and my buddies tried it back in the day when I was 18 or 19, but we didn't know what we were doing. However, that was before we saw the biggest transformation in his body. Even at his current age of 49, there is no doubt that he is genetically gifted. And it's a tough pill to swallow for a lot of young fans that perhaps The Rock's physique is unattainable for most of them. The way I see it, whether he is or isn't using enhancements is besides the point because the exercise he may gain from enhancements isn't the reason that he inspires millions of people across the world to work out. His charisma, words of encouragement, and never give up attitude is what changes lives. All of which shine through in his movies, interviews, speeches, and social media. There are thousands of people with huge muscles, but none of them have the same capacity to inspire and motivate people like The Rock does. But with all of that fame and influence comes a lot of pressure and responsibility. And this leads us to the final elements that have helped The Rock master the art of fitness. He treats the gym as his anchor, a place that grounds him and a place of stability where he has complete control of the outcome, which is something that he lacked a lot of growing up as a kid. The anchor for me has always been the work in terms of the weight room training. Training and some sort of physical activity becomes my anchor every day. The gym for me and this physical activity for me is my anchor and no one will outwork me. No one. I'll start with this. Two hands putting it to work. I feel like this is relatable to a lot of people watching this video right now, because for people that don't work out, they just see it as a place to get stronger, but it is so much more than that. It's a place for us to build our body and our mind, a place where we have full control of the outcome, where hard work is rewarded, a place for us to forget about our problems and burn off some steam and do it surrounded by people all striving for the same goal. While the journey of a million reps may be solo, the unspoken bond and community of fellow athletes is what makes the fitness industry so great which is something that isn't lost on The Rock. We want to make sure that we have people around us who are inspired to do well and reach for and continue to share our vision, but also at times say, well, I'm not quite too sure if that's the right thing to do. If we can learn anything from The Rock's journey to mastering the art of fitness, it's that nothing good comes from something easy. So we have to use the hard times in our life as motivation to push for something better. We need to acknowledge the influence that our lifestyle choices have on the people around us. We need to understand the importance of a correct diet and we need to remember that no matter what, we will always have fitness as our anchor to sculpt the person that we wanna see in the world. 
subscribe to my channel. On my color for the night. Oh no. Oh yes. No stress.